Hi there lovely people. My name is Binati Shet and I am one of the educators on the An Academy platform. So if you really want to make a difference, uh, you could uh, feel free and go to anacademy.com and download the uh, educate app if you want to be part of this fabulous educator team. And uh, you can also directly log into the website and go ahead and then do the same. Trust me, it's a very, very, very rewarding experience. Not only in terms of uh, what curriculum you get to revise or you get to reiterate, but in terms of your social impact in the society. So let's directly get into the topic at hand, which is how to practice active learning. So what do I mean when I say active learning? So while, uh, while we sit and study, there are various approaches that we could follow in terms of uh, approaching whatever curriculum that we have in question. And one of the best methods to use is active learning, which is uh, when in, use, in giving in max minimum effort, you are getting maximum efficiency, right? So spending minimum amount of time, you will be able to remember and recall maximum amount of information so to ensure uh, that uh, you are able to not only grasp it but to also apply it in practice you have to go ahead with uh, applying these techniques in your daily life so there are various methods in which you could practice active learning and just a side note is that active learning is what smart work is basically all about right so um, now the first and the uh, most important aspect of active learning is to know yourself that is uh, you have to realize your strengths and your weaknesses or what exact uh, technique works with you the best right so in my case i'm very bad at learning information if i want to learn something I will try to bank on my short term memory, right? But then there are some of us who are really very good at remembering stuff. So for you, active learning would be make effective notes and then uh, go ahead with, uh, uh, you know, recalling whatever information or what we call ratification, right? So first thing is you need to recognize what your strengths are. So for that, you need to know what uh, your specific skill sets are and how you recall uh, what uh, works out for you the best. So as I said, with me, it is more into listening than reading. So if, if you are a learner or a reader like me, what you'd prefer to do is instead of reading material, listen to uh, audiobooks or get into podcasts, right? Just lay back and about subjects that you're not really good at, go for the podcasts and uh, if you are into uh, learning or if your uh, recall memory or your recall skills are stronger than uh, your cognitive skills then go ahead and uh, just uh, make proper notes and then follow the according to whatever subject that you had and like trust me that is going to lead to you getting maximum efficiency out of minimum effort so after you are done knowing yourself, there are various techniques that you could use to write or frame your notes. The first the technique is to go into the flowchart or an algorithm method, wherein all the important or the primary aspects of every topic turn into main categories and then further subcategorize them according to requirement. So in just one diagram, you will be able to know the actual facts, the chronology and the associated data about, uh, you know, the topic in hand. So that is the chronological way of making notes. The other is the descriptive uh, notes and uh, descriptive notes are mostly advisable for uh, topics like uh, whenever you have any historical uh, subjects or whenever you have to learn about the story of any uh, empires or you know dynasties or any specific paragraph sort of forms so in that all you have to do is 
uh, you have to firstly understand what the story is trying to talk about say if we see the paris climate deal which is really a hot topic of the world right now so if you're talking about the paris climate deal you are supposed to uh, firstly you begin with why you need climate deals make a note about this then after you come up with that why you need deals go into what sort of deals actually exist then go into what do you do about those specific deals which deals worked which deals didn't and finally you talk about the paris agreement and why a country like united states getting out of it is a big deal right so this is how you make descriptive notes or this is how you go about with descriptive topics at hand and the third and the final way is as i said bank on your short term memory that is if uh, if you are uh, talking specifically talking about names dates when you make notes uh, instead of just underlining everything go ahead with just highlighting or making a note about the names and the dates like i'm one of those people who's very very bad at learning things and despite that i've ended up scoring well in all my school and college exams especially in subjects which involve dates and names and the only shortcut was understand the logic the technique and or the story and then dates and names one or two hours before the exam just you know just focus like a hawk on all of those uh, names and dates and then just rely on your short term memory the memory is going to be very very reliable for 2 3 hours before and after your exam so you could do that Uh, but then when we talk about uh, exams which involve current affairs you cannot just write one date or one name and get away with it unfortunately there are no shortcuts into getting uh, your information about uh, current affairs or, or all of those things like you cannot bank on short term memory because there is so so many things that are going around in the world so unfortunately for current affairs and things like that the only way for you to get maximum uh, benefit out of uh, or the maximum advantage or efficiency in recalling these information would be to follow a uh, one good quality newspaper and or news channel right so what happens is when you select a good quality newspaper or news channel they will not give you biased information they will only give you information that is what actually current affairs are all about so uh, whenever you are you are dealing with things like that then go ahead and stick with singular sources don't uh, rely on or count on multiple books and uh, things like so and then uh, finally uh, i know that uh, many of you are probably uh, going up for your exams tomorrow so the best way to get into active learning is to go into it with a positive attitude right like if you are studying 